And I want to touch on um, Proverbs 3, 9 and 10 right here. Verse 9 says, honor the Lord with thy substance. Right here, just stop right here. Honor the Lord with thy substance. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18 says, in all things, give thanks. Give thanks. In all things, give thanks. So right here, honor the Lord with all thine substance. Regardless, that means everything. Everything that you own. Like we are blessed to have what we are and what God has given us. In all things, give thanks of thy substance. That's what we're here. Honor the Lord with thy substance. With what you have, give thanks. And then it goes on, the second thing. And with the first fruits of all thine increase. Right? The first fruits, we all know, is the very first, the first thing. What we receive and God gives us and blesses us is every time we get increasingly wealth. How many know we should honor and bless God with our wealth? Amen. Because he's the one that ordained it and made it possible to bless us. Amen. Philippians 4, 19 says, in all things, my God has supplied all my needs. He supplied all our needs. But it's according to his riches and glory. Amen. So he's already going to bless all our needs. He's going to take, but it's all according to his riches and glory. Meaning again, right here, it all depends on will he get glory in the end. When we are given our tithes, are we giving thanks and thanking him for what he's blessed us with and thanking him to the point? Because when we're thanks living for him, yeah. it doesn't come hard to give my tithes. No. It doesn't come hard to do as he commands. Because Jesus said, those who love me keep my commandments. Because again, Malachi 3, 3, 8 and 10, you know, wh where will a man rob me? In tithes and offerings. Right. We don't want to rob God in our tithes and offerings. Amen. Because when we hold back from giving our thanks, when we hold back and give what God says as he is, we're robbing him. Amen? Amen. And what he's wanting to do. Amen? Right. But right here, again, honor the Lord with all thy substance and the first fruits of all thy increase. Means God's going to increase our wealth. God's going to bless us to be able to... God's not going to tell us to give and not bless us. Amen? And he sure ain't going to just bless you to not give. It don't work either way like that. I mean, right here he says, the first words of all that increase. Right there, he's all your increase. You're going to get increased. You're going to get increases. But how do I honor him with my first fruits? How do I honor him with all my substance? We got to do just as John 3.30 says. I've got to sit there and I've got to decrease so that he may increase. When I decrease and I think, give thanks to him, he increases. Thus, when he increases, he then can increase the blessings. Amen. Amen. That's where, again, how do I then be able to, for God to supply all my needs? Is because when he's getting increased, that means he's getting the glory. And when he's getting his glory and riches, he will supply all my needs. And there's where the increase comes. But it all starts with us. Do we trust him? We was talking about this this morning, you know, with the kids and everything. You know, it's all about how many of us can sit here and say, I trust God. We can, we can all, I trust him. I trust him. But the question God's asking us is, can he trust us? We say it all the time, I trust God, but can he trust us? It all starts right here. Again, if you're really wanting to give him thanks, you will do as he commands, and you will be a living sacrifice every day. It won't come hard. It'll all come easy because it's, you know what you've got to do. You know you're doing it for him. And when you're doing it for him, no price is too big for the price he paid. That was worth it all. Amen? To me, no matter what, it's worth it. No matter how big or how small, a seed's a seed. It'll grow into lives changed. Amen? To Jesus be the glory. Amen. Great word. Like we said, you know, earlier today, which would have been this morning, sometime, a few hours ago. Uh, in Hebrews 13 and 15, we're to bring forth a sacrifice of thanksgiving. But the fruit of our lips, even our praise to him. Somebody say to Jesus. And then verse 16, he said, don't forget to do well and to communicate. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. And the word communicate from Philippians 4, you go to verse 14 and 15, when Paul talked about the church at Philippi, and he said how no church communicated with me concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. So the word communicate there really is a word in Scripture for giving to God. 
Amen. So he speaks in verse 15 of Hebrews 13 about giving him thanks, the fruit of your lips. But then he says, don't forget why you're giving him thanks with your lips. Come on, somebody, to communicate a gift to him. Amen. Give to him. Amen. And, and I want to ask you a question. Uh, you know, uh, when life hits and life happens and it hits and it happens, and sometimes it just happens to hit. <laughs> Amen. That's part of, part of life. Amen. Listen, Proverbs 28 and 20 said, The faithful shall abound with blessing. Somebody say, if you miss church, you shouldn't miss your tithe. Hello? Some people will miss a service, and they just think all of, all of a sudden that, that, that service don't count. I missed. I weren't there, so it don't matter. Mm -mm. You will not be blessed. It's the faithful that abounds with blessing. So everybody say, when you're not at church... God still requires the tithe out of you. The tithe out of you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Some people need to catch up. Some people's robbed God and not even aware of it. Because they think because they didn't come to that service that somehow God's just kind of, you know, whoop, forget that one. No, he don't forget it. Amen. Somebody say if he blessed you, he still requires the first fruit. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say you better make sure. You tallied and totaled up. If you want God's blessing, amen. Some people got some back ties and they don't even realize. They didn't even realize it until I just said it. Amen. Hallelujah. And there's somebody watching. You thought, well, I won't go tonight because of what he said this morning. And because of what he said this morning, amen, I just won't go tonight. So that won't look like it was me. You're right, Brother Rob. I was sitting right there and I heard it. See, that's what people don't realize. I hear all kind of stuff. But at the same time, I hear people, I have to hear from God when I hear stuff. And sometimes that's the most burdenous thing to have to listen to. When you listen to things or listen to someone, and then at the same time, you hearing God tell you what really is going on. Amen. How, somebody say, you ain't fooling the Father. You ain't fooling him. Amen. You missed him tonight. Somebody's watching. You missed him tonight because you didn't want somebody to see it was you. Amen. That was acting like that this morning. Amen. You said, I won't go this morning because I can go tonight. But then I called that out this morning, so you just figured you wouldn't come tonight either. Amen. So it wouldn't look like it was you. It don't matter what we see or anybody here knows about. He knows. I, I don't understand it, Brother Danny, how some people just think they can just tiptoe past the Holy Ghost and somehow hide. That's the old, that's as old as sin. You thought I was going to say dirt. That's as old as sin. That's what Adam and Eve thought they'd do. Thought they'd hide from God. Amen. Which one of the kids the other night uh, said that's just stupid? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to hide from God. Somebody say it really is. It don't make a bit of sense. Amen. Praise God. He still loves you, but you need to repent of that. Amen. Somebody say you can't manipulate the Holy Ghost. You can't do I'm over here trying to mind my own business, enjoy the service, and God goes, starts. I said, oh, Lord. I said, Lord, what am I supposed to do about that? He said, let them know. <laughs> let them know that I know. And guess what? He still loves you. <laughs> Amen. But he just wants you to understand you're not, you know, you playing the fool because it, it, ain't, it ain't God <laughs> that you're fooling. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say, whatever you do, just give God the first thing. Be faithful. Be faithful. Be faithful. And if you'll be faithful to God, that's really what full of faith is. It's being faithful. God said he'll bless. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't think I've ever even ever mentioned that from this pulpit. But everybody say with me. Say if life hits, happens to hit, and you miss a service or two, somebody say God still expects you to pay him the tithe from that week. You'd be surprised at the people that skip. It's easy to sit anywhere and look from a distance and think, well, why did they talk like that? Why did they speak? Because if you had some of the inside knowledge that we do. Hello? Amen. When you're a leader in the ministry in the church, there's just things that get brought to your attention that you have to be told about. Amen. Praise God that, you know, a lot of people don't understand. That's, that's why some people, it's so easy to talk from that side of the lens and say what people ought to do and how they ought to think. I remember being real young with the Lord, a novice, and thinking that. Oh, how I know different now. Amen. The more wisdom, the more knowledge, and the more things that God reveals to you, the more he requires. Amen. Of you. And uh, so when God reveals stuff like that, it ain't because he's, 
you know, condemning somebody. Amen. He's just trying to correct us. Amen. Hallelujah. What kind of father would he be if he didn't chasten us? Amen. He said, as many as I love, I chasten. Amen. Acts, or no, Revelation 3, verse 19. Somebody say, so he loves us. At least that's what mama taught me when she was switching me when I was a little boy. Amen. Yeah, I love you. Amen. I used to think, Lord, she hates me, but now I know why. Amen. She really loved me. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So when Jesus chastises you, he's not condemning you. He's not pushing you away from him. He's just trying to pull you close. He's trying to say, look here. Amen. You can't hide from me. Do it my way. Do it my way. Somebody say, not your way, but Yahweh. Do it his way. Praise God.